Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, a fish room update. Maybe something going on in here. Grab yourself a snack and a beverage. Stand by. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. For those of you that are new here, my name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room and I'm currently building a new fish room in my basement. I moved to this house uh, in the beginning of October and then at the end of October, I had a heart attack and quadruple bypass surgery. And I still have some restrictions when it comes to lifting, but I'm doing what I can without over exertion. Now, today we're gonna show you an update of the work I've done from the last video. But before I start showing you that stuff, if you could just do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And of course, Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about my fish room. And if you have a fish room, what kind of fish do you keep? So uh, I've been working down here on and off for the last couple of days. Um, really haven't done much up until today for whatever reason. Uh, but today we're going to talk about this rack that is almost finished. Um, and the things that I've done. You can see there is some piping here. You can see there's water filling there. So without further ado, let me show you what I got. Well, all right, fishy folks, here we go. The rack has six tens. I had eight. Uh, one of them broke. It actually was sitting here. It was drilled and it had a bulkhead. And I put the tank here and then I was doing some stuff and I knocked the tank and it slipped forward and landed on the bulkhead and cracked. I threw it away. Uh, I drilled three tanks today that weren't drilled. One of them broke when I drilled it, uh, which only happened one other time when it was a um, tempered glass tank and I had to change my drawers because uh, the noise, the explosion of the glass was so loud. Early, early on in my fish room career, it was a 45 that I got for free used. Anyway, uh, this rack, I'm going to eventually get three more. I got to figure out the drain for the bottom. Um, probably it's going to go along here the drain that's going to be the rack for here. Anyway, we got the water system working. It's being tested right now. I did test the drain system. It's a two inch drain over here. And I'm going to run tubing to the uh, three inch to two inch adapter over there for both sections. And then I'll come down and drain into that floor drain over there. All right, what else? We got the water up here for this side all done. Um, I still have to run water for that side for another zone. I do have three zones you can see over there. One, well, it's not focusing. It's focusing on my hand. So one, two, three. And uh, that blue pipe is goes to the uh, well tank. I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, pretty much the plumbing except for running another zone or two is done. Uh, the next project is going to probably be uh, finishing the air lines up here. See, I got it connected over there and then over here. Um, and I have a bunch of one inch with air lines drilled in it and some one inch with no air lines. So I should have enough pipe. Oh boy, we have a problem over here, folks. Look, look, a light fell. These lights were actually outside um, when we moved. We left them outside and then, you know, I had that heart attack. So, uh, yeah, they still work, though. I mean, look, that one would work if I turned it on. But, you know, um, I've run these uh, deck planks. They're what? Five and a quarter. One by five and a quarter, I think. Anyway, whatever these are, deck planks. Um, and, you know, none of them are straight like like this one is is about as crooked as a cat's ass over here look at that but i don't really need it for that i'm just mounting thing i mounted that to the ceiling and then i'm mounting things to that just to make it easier um i will most likely do the same over here for lights and for the air and water uh workbench is going to go over here it's going to be five feet this way so it's going to fit right there so the door can still open here i'll show you over here uh, it's actually probably my next project, um, big project, I should say, 
even before I build more racks over here, right? Like I got to put racks over here, but the fish room is a disaster. Like I don't typically work this messy. Like I got tools over here. I got tools over there. I got tubing over here. It's the wrong size tubing I bought. I'm a dope. Got the aquarium co-op black airline tubing. I got tools and parts over here. I've got parts over here. I've got tools and parts and tools and parts. And when I have to do laundry, uh, it's it, like this was clean, clean up this morning because look, there's laundry, but it's a mess. Uh, figuring out the drain for this side, it's going to have to come along the back and then, you know, behind the, the washing machine again down to over there. So uh, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Finishing the air, uh, because right now these tanks, like I think the plan to finish the air is build a rack, the shelving over here, um, move tanks to the bottom, the tanks that are behind me, move whatever's in them to bottom tanks, and then fix the air, and then uh, start building racks on this side. I think that's what's going to happen. Anyway, fishy folks, that's just a quick fish room update. Hope your uh, day is going great, and uh, soon the website will be up and running, and you can buy fish. All right, guys. See you later. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. My name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room. And uh, before we begin, if you could just do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you like this pretty face or humor-filled, simple, stupid stuff. No. Hiya, fishy folks, and welcome back. No, I did that already. Welcome back to the channel, fishy folks. If you're new here, my name is Michael from Michael's Fish Room, and I'm currently building a new fish room.